Hi, just wanted to do a quick review of this uh, hot label dot co branded uh, thermal label printer compared to um, pretty much the industry standard uh, Zebra uh, printers here and these are you know high-end industrial uh, type ones and it's the G I've got the GC420D but I also have the GC420K uh, as well um, and these are okay but these are only like 205 dpi uh, printers and I print uh, DHL labels and also uh, Australia Post business labels as well and sometimes the uh, the resolution of this thing just doesn't cut it and also the just the thermal properties of how it prints the barcode um, it's because there's a difference in printing barcodes between I don't actually have an Australia Post one here but you know there's a difference between like different types of labels that you can actually uh, print I've just got some uh, samples here printed from it in the setup you can change the uh, like the density of the uh, print and all that sort of stuff and I, I found that I kind of had to do a compromise between the Australia Post barcodes uh, and labels and the DHL uh, labels I can't just like change it based on which label I'm actually printing I use the uh, star ship it print uh, program that's by packing and shipping system so I wanted to try a higher resolution printer to see if that made a difference now um, the, the this uh, zebra model here is about like it's over 400 Aussie bucks but this uh, hot label one I found is uh, I just got it on eBay and it's like or you can get it directly from the website too I think it's like only like a hundred and fifty bucks and it's 300 dots per inch as opposed to the uh, 200 dots per inch uh, they both use external uh, plug packs both got uh, USB interfaces I won't bother showing them around Around. the hot label one here is physically bigger it's physically a bit wider physically slightly a bit deeper but uh, yeah they've both got like automatic uh, sensing uh, and stuff and this one the zebra just has the uh, standard uh, one inch I think core uh, six by four labels in there I, I standardize on six by four for everything and this hot label one it does uh, exactly the same thing I think it does something when you close it yeah it recalibrates itself automatically and whoop yep I think it's good to go um yeah so I'm trying this and I'm actually blown away by the quality of this thing it makes a huge difference please forgive the uh, lack of screen capture here didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint it now um this hot label uh, company I don't know you know it's like they get I don't know who they're actually getting the printing mechanism from if you know who actually manufactures this is at their own customer I don't know but they actually do have an address here in Australia they've got a US uh, a Sydney address a US address and a UK address I don't know if they're uh, Aussie ones at the top and they've got their own support and all this uh, sort of jazz so like it seems like it's maybe an Aussie company or something they're obviously made in uh, China of course I don't know who makes the uh, print engine but yeah 143 Aussie bucks so we're au.hotlabel.co and um, yeah a 300 DPI printer um, I haven't done a teardown of it but uh, the speed I think is basically equivalent between these two models the hot label might even be slightly quicker so let me try and print a test label here and I'll show you okay I'm going to print to the uh, zebra here I will start the stopwatch ready set go five point seven eight seconds okay I'm gonna print to the hot label go whoa yep three <laughs> three seconds just over 3.06 seconds that is quicker um, and I think I think the print speed is equivalent but this time but the zebra took more time to think about it and process it and uh, of course this one came out upside down I've set this one to come out uh, the other way and we can actually have a look at these labels so actually compare them um, I've got a couple of samples here so this is a sample uh, UPS label here we've got the hot label one here and the zebra one over here and you can see that on the smaller text the smaller text there is a huge difference in these the, the the top one is the zebra the bottom one is the hot label you can really see the advantage of the uh, 300 dpi as opposed to the 205 dpi and no I've got dithering I don't have dithering turned on it's dithering's turned off uh, for both of these and you can quite clearly see the difference um, and there's the 
as the barcode there. So yes, the hot label one is actually darker too, of course. Um, so here it is here. I printed another Zebra one at uh, 13, a density of print density of 13 compared to 10 that the last one was at. But still, the um, the the hot label is just is just way better. It's just way better. But that's what you'd expect from the resolution of this thing. 300 DPI just does the business. I really like it. And here's a UPS label here, and yeah, you can clearly see, like, there's a massive difference. Hot label ones on the bottom, of course, it's it's just, it just beats it in every aspect. And I've tested this on my DHL labels and my Australia Post uh, labels as well. And yeah, yeah, there's just no contest. The uh, hot label, 300 DPI hot label wins hands down. And I had no uh, issues installing the hot label uh, driver here. Uh, Zebra drivers, I have have had issues in the past actually setting them up, but the hot label one uh, seemed to work just fine. It works with my Star Ship It uh, program. And you can see that I've got dithering uh, turned off here. I've also got dithering turned off on the uh, Zebra one as well. So it's not, you know, trying to like pixelize things and make it a little dithery. So some of the hot label uh, stuff you can do, you can, uh, of course, you know, set up uh, the different sizes. I use uh, four by uh, six labels here and you can do mirror image and negative and you can, you know, rotate it and stuff. Um, you can do the graphics, of course. Uh, it's just monochrome and then you can uh, ser select the type of uh, stock you got if you got like you know labels with different types of labels I've just got labels with uh, gaps and I just uh, tear them off and yeah I've got tear off mode enabled like that peel off cart all that sort of stuff so it's got all the options that you actually want no problems whatsoever and um, yeah it's a four uh, barcode bartender I don't know is that the is that the driver seagull scientific ink um, is that the company that actually well they're the ones who make the driver anyway um so yeah the uh the, the zebra is i you know it, it's an okay printer but like just for basic barcodes these days i've been having issues with it and even for like really large barcodes like this i've been having problems with my uh zebra printer one and you can see in here like here's, here's the zebra printer one right and and you can see how the lines are not smooth at all right they they all they're they're almost dithered right but i don't have dithering mode turned on whereas the hot label ones are really nice and solid and um i've got no issues with uh any density printing density differences between my dhl labels and my um australia post labels whereas i had to do a compromise before with the uh, zebra printer to get sort of like a right trade-off where the barcode would scan in so yeah so anyway i'm very impressed with this i'm just going to um get rid of my zebra i'm just going to sell that i think uh because i've got no need for it now this hot if i needed a second uh printer i'd buy another hot label one i think they're a winner winner chicken dinner i don't know why you'd spend your money on the zebra i know they like they integrate into systems better and maybe i don't know from the driver side of thing uh, what uh you know they've got lots of like custom interfaces and i don't know stuff like that leave it in the comments down below um if you've got a real fancy pantsy uh customized shipping system but this thing just worked out of the box um just plugged into the usb installed the uh drivers from the website they've even got an aussie uh support thing so yeah very impressed with the hot label three moving from 200 i think this is 205 dpi i put the specs up here compared to 300 dpi there's just no no contest um yeah i'm not buying a zebra again no way love this hot label one so anyway leave your thoughts and uh, comments down below have you also ditched uh zebra as well to go for a higher resolution i i think zebra might make 300 dpi models i don't know they're probably more expensive but this is still the current model the gc 420d i believe you can still uh buy this and the other i had another one which i found in the dumpster and it was uh the same 200 and it was just slightly faster it was like 200 and uh three 203 dpis 205 something like that and yeah, 300 DPI, and it, this just blows it out of the water. I'm really impressed. So anyway, leave your thoughts and uh, comments down below, because I do do a lot of shipping. I've done, <laughs> I've been packing and shipping things for 30 years or something. Um, more than that, possibly. Oh, goodness. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I, this is a really nice uh, thermal printer. I like it. It's fast enough. You know, it may not be you know the the fastest thing out there um you know you can get zebra ones that are faster other brands that are faster and stuff like that but for my needs it's it's pretty decently quick 
So, yeah, anyway, um, if you've got experience with uh, other uh, thermal label printers, please leave them in the comments down below. Anyway, hope you found that useful. Catch you next time.